The reason why the TV is so important is because we actually get to, um, we have to actually follow what's going on in the house every single minute and just in case that we are called or we need to be there uh, to make a speech or something like that. And so I think it's just really nice to, uh, to remind people of my dog, uh, well, to remind people I have a dog. <laughs> everyone Nacy here um, so today I thought I would bring you to Parliament um, obviously and to show you a little bit more of my office so here we go welcome to my office in Parliament Ta-da! So, um, coming in inside, um, and to the right, uh, the left hand side actually of the door, is obviously my um, lounge area, I guess you could call it, or my uh, sofa area. Um, and so, um, actually on the coffee table that I always would have um, for my guests to read is actually a, I guess you call it a coffee book, a little bit like that, of um, uh, Dane Kiri Te Kanawa, an opera for lovers, and I, it's a really, really nice a book for guests to browse through if they're waiting for me or something like that. And in that corner, I always just put um, all of my, tri my, my tripod and a lot of my um, bigger tech kind of equipment. But obviously we come here, which is um, somewhere that I think most of you would have uh, already seen in my first video. And the coolest thing of Aussie about that is that I've got my neon light on this side. And so that if I sit down um, on this couch, and this is usually uh, where I do all of my YouTube videos, up here we've got the TV, which is actually really, really important. Um, the reason why the TV is so important is because we actually get to... Um, we have to actually follow what's going on in the house every single minute and just in case that we are called or we need to be there uh, to make a speech or something like that and in case there was voting going on and stuff like that so um yeah so we usually just always keep it to the parliamentary tv just to know what's happening obviously when we're sitting and obviously right now we're not so this is just a replay from this morning um, and here we've got it off the cabinet and obviously a photo of my family, including our happy, uh, the dog. And so I think it's just really nice to, uh, to remind people of my dog. Uh, well, to remind people I have a dog and to remind myself of how wonderful my family is and how supportive they are of me doing this job. Um, and here you would see this red box and if with for anyone who's been into Parliament you'll see that every single MP uh, has one of these things which is called our house box. Now the reason for that is because um, security really doesn't want us to carry bags into the house um, for security issues obviously and so we all get given um, this little paper box and we try to put in everything all of our papers that we need to read for our speeches and stuff like that um, and obviously I still use mine for select committee so there's like a lot of papers for select committee and I usually carrying into the house I usually just put my laptop in there as well so that I could uh, read digital notes if I needed to um, right beside that obviously we've got a um, a wardrobe uh, so, so somewhere to, to hang all of our coats and I always keep obviously a black blazer which is a staple um, I've got my Chinese dress in here um, just in case but actually that was supposed to be for Chinese New Year and obviously I haven't had a chance to wear it I've got my coat I've got a sh uh, a shawl or like a scarf kind of um, yeah thing to keep me warm and keep my legs warm in case I'm wearing something too short <laughs> um, and a skirt and obviously uh, down here I've got my um, I've got all my shoes um, and I always keep a pair of flats. Um, these are my Allbirds, so comfortable and obviously environmental. I've got um, environmentally friendly, sorry, and I've always got a, a shorter pair of heels and a much higher uh, pair of heels just in case. Um, so we'll start from the top, which is, this is actually what I signed my, my oath, uh, my statement of oath. Uh, for me to uh, to be true to the queen and um, and to I think it's to obey all her heirs and successors. Um, so this is the one that I signed when I made my oath in front of the whole country that day. 
Um, and so, so the speaker's office has kindly um, wrapped it up in a little um, ribbon, which actually has, sorry, I, can, I don't know if you can see, but it actually has all of the parliamentary uh, crest on it. Uh, there we go. It has all of the parliamentary crest on it, which is really, really cool. I didn't know that we had ribbons like that. Um, and then here is the photo that they took of uh, me when I made my maiden speech. So something definitely really, really special. And then we've got a little drawer, and this is probably my favourite uh, drawer <laughs> um, in my office for obvious reasons. I've got all my tea collection here. I've got my Chinese green tea, loose leaf green tea. And then, which I really shouldn't, but I uh, do, is my... Mrs. Higgins Chok Chu uh, collection, so I buy them in bulk um, just because I think there's moments where we just can't have, uh, we don't have time to eat around here, and it's just really nice to have a quick pick me up. Um, I've got my supplements, <laughs> um, so if anyone followed the parliamentary debate, obviously my colleague Anna Lork has quite a, um, a, a reputation for supplements, so I won't talk about what. But obviously, and I've got my little keep cup as well so that I could have my coffee. Um, I should put in all of my electronic stuff at the back as well, just bits and bolts. Um, on this side of the um, of the cup cupboard, obviously, I've got my little mini fridge and my mini bar. And I'm quite proud of the stack that I have. Um, a lot of them are very generous PR gifts that we've been given. Um, and But always I've got my... <laughs> <laughs> probably shouldn't be showing this side but anyway um on this side though i do have a cranberry sauce and an apple sauce don't ask me why i can't even remember why i have them in my parliament fridge um and a piece of artwork that is actually really 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 close to my heart so it's by an artist who i actually um take lessons from um her name is shimin and she is um so she actually created this font called the uh, the Silver Fern Scroll. And so what that is, is trying to combine Chinese characters with uh, obviously the fern and New Zealand elements to it. Um, and so it's an integration of Chinese culture and Māori. And here is my desk. So we've got uh, two screens, which is always really, really nice. So um, from the desk, obviously, we've got here, um, this is my girl scout, if I remember correctly. Um, and I think they call it a scarf um, or a bandana. And obviously, because they're supposed to click badges all over. And then we, um, coming into Parliament this year, got the um, 2020 New Zealand Parliament badge, House of Representatives, which is really, really cool. So I've kept it on this chair. And in this corner, I mean, this desk, obviously, I usually pull up this chair and, um, and have meetings with my staff members here on this desk. But... Um, usually I set up this kind of calligraphy corner now for those of you who understand calligraphy will know that that's a mess um, and that's not very uh, mature calligraphy but right now I'm just learning through um, some of the carving um, fonts if you like to uh, if you call it that um, and so uh, yeah I, calligraphy for me is a really good way to uh, media meditate um, and I because you have to practice your breathing as well um, in the particular type of um, um, calligraphy that I'm trying to learn at the moment is, um, like I said, it's been etched onto a lot of um, different instruments, um, like yeah, big bowls and all of that kind of stuff. So it's quite good for uh, big, uh, big writing. And here, and finally, just out, just before we get out the door, is my um, painting that Oban, uh, a, a, actually a, a Chinese painter resident in, in the botany electorate gave to me. And so I still remember during the election campaign, Chris and I went to Oban's um, gallery or his um, his exhibition for his paintings. And then when we both walked into the room, we both were really drawn uh, to this painting for obvious reasons. And I still remember Chris pointing here and saying, I want to be uh, there someday. And I said, Chris, um, uh, try get the painting first uh, before you get to the office and so actually on my maiden speech uh, day Oban actually came over to Wellington to support me um, and he brought the painting with me as a gift for my new office so no Chris bet you to it but the reason why I like this obviously for obvious reasons of um, uh, beehive but this is actually Pahutakawa um, and then it's done in a Chinese uh, a calligraphy ink kind of style and I just thought it's really nice kind of um crossover between the Chinese kind of tradition uh, traditional painting and um 
New Zealand elements, I guess. And otherwise, we are back outside the door. And um, here, out here, actually, I'll just quickly show you, is where all of our EA sit. Um, and so they have quite an open space. And so my EA kind of, uh, usually she would probably just sit here so that I go out the door, I can see her uh, right there. Um, yeah, and here's my office and with my uh, name on it. Um, and I'll take you guys quickly to the uh, to the kitchen as well. And actually, I'll show you one thing that's really really cool. Although I don't have much use for it at the moment, is the parents' room. Um, yeah, I just think it's so nice that we have such an inclusive environment. Obviously, we've got our um, uh, colleague Camilla, who's just had his uh, just had her baby James, is his name. And so this is where um, I guess she could um, obviously look after James and breastfeed as well. So um, it's just a really nice place and a place to uh, for little kids to play. Um, and we've just got other colleagues' offices um, along here. And this is the wonderful um, Shepherd's Lounge. Now, Shepherd's Lounge, obviously, um, after Kate Shepherd, which I think is really, really cool, um, is our kitchen. Um, so we've got all these these tables that we can have lunch at although actually my preference is still to have lunch sitting in my office just because I could watch the TV and also soup as well because you guys probably should know that Chinese people love soup. Uh, we've got two really big, um, uh, two fridges, two microwaves, two dishwashers, two sinks, two sandwiches, uh, we've got basically everything that we need. So on this channel I really hope to show you a bit more um, behind the scenes stuff about what my life is like um, being an MP but also to share a little bit more and to discuss with you and to um, build a community around um, young migrant women who are like me and who might be uh, experiencing similar challenges in their life and in their professional life especially. So please hit the like, subscribe and um, notification bell and join me on this crazy journey as I work my way through Parliament. Thank you guys so much.